Hello, Martin here. Uh, today I'm going to take you out on an afternoon trip with my youngest daughter. And uh, I'm going to give you some a few steps that you need to take in order to get your dogs uh, out on a kick sled tour. As you would see in this film, it's not recommended to take four dogs with you on that. Um, it's a bit much, but I've done this for many, many years. And, and this is sort of the, the uh, thing that I do when I work with them um, just before the, the, the season starts in the, in the winter. So you can just say hello to some of the dogs here. That's uh, my lead, lead, leading team. Uh, Soru and me and uh, this is my second couple that's Fix and uh, Pala and, uh, and my very best youngest daughter with the kick <laughs> kick sled some words about the kick sled it's quite simple it's a standard issue uh, I have fitted it with a uh, mat from a skido that you can stand on for as a brake um, it's not the most efficient kind of brake but I'm a big man so and that's why I bring my daughter as well because it weights down the whole thing so um, well and uh, as you can see, the, uh, the team is eager to get on the move. Okay, so the first thing we do is to get the kicks out of the snow and in position. Um, and the second, we check the, the lines and thread them out. And then the, the third thing that is important, you don't forget, you put on the safety rope here. So that's quite simple, but keeps the dogs obey if, if they were to, to take off. Okay, and then we'll fetch the dogs. The third element. Get the harnesses for the uh, for the dogs. Once I get to the dogs with the harnesses, they sort of takes off because they understand what's going to take place. They're going to go out running, and they really like that. So in order for them to calm down, I try to just stay outside, wait till they do what you can see now. They're, they're sitting down, and I want them all to sit down before I get in there. Not that they would do me anything, it's just that I would like them to calm down. And that does take some time. They're not quite there yet. So, Ruli, so, sit. There you go.
It's just go, 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 go. <laughs> I have to help them sometimes. <laughs> so, but they are really nice. Good dogs. Ah, so bra. Well, the reason that I have a pit stop like the one we just had, because sometimes they don't really like this journey here, this trail, because it's boring and they do it a lot. And they'd like to just go home again. So I feed them something. It's a very, very short uh, trip. So, but I, I, they don't need any food on the way. But I just give them some, a treat so that if they feel it's ah, yeah, really nice. And we'll do this again. And hopefully, with repetitions, they will remember that. Okay. On this trip, at that point, we might get a treat. Um, I should be careful not to give the treat at the same place every time. So, that's why. To encourage them. When I look at the dogs like this, I tend to come to them from from front so that they basically learn to stand uh, like they are now, so that they don't come back in order for me because they they like me to come and greet them. So if I show you now, if I when I move up to the front dogs, I move beyond them, and then I sit down here and then they'll come to me and stretch the, the back uh, lines and so that they, they they're not uh, learning that they can come and go back and to greet me so that they this is their position and I shouldn't take them out of this position unless it's something really really important <laughs> And when we started, most of the dogs are very keen. But now we come home, play sort of a and so. Once we've been on a trip like this, when I remove this, the harnesses, I lift the legs and I fold them together like that and I push it all the way up there because then the dog, if it's been injured during the run, he will say something like Eek! and But doing that, I know he's okay. And uh, I'm just showing you because Normally, it is, it's done so quickly that 
you don't really notice this unless you are familiar with the with the concept but that's just so that you can uh, look after the, the dogs yeah okay well, folks that, that was it for today thank you for watching do this and i'll be happy man take care oh, yes